rifles to Houck's home. He now faces 11 years in prison for protecting his son. Now, again, it's hard to believe that any of that actually happened, but it actually did. And to confirm it, we are joined now by Mark Houck's wife, Ryan Marie Houck. She was there when the FBI raided her home and took her husband away. Mrs. Houck, thanks so much for joining us. What, tell us your, and, and I should say you're also joined uh, by your attorney, who, whom we're grateful to have. Um, but first, Mrs. Houck, what was this experience like for you and for your children? Um, well, uh, it was, um, devastating. I mean, as you can imagine, it's, I mean, it's hard to even express, um, the victimization and, you know, how, how traumatized we all are, um, due to this unnecessary, um, thing that happened to us, you know, so. How, how many FBI really agents, w I, I, it's hard even to imagine. Um, it had, it had to have been 20, 25, 30. I mean, uh, we have a large property. Um, my entire front yard, um, you could barely see it. It was covered with at least 15, um, big trucks and cars. And there were, uh, you know, like I said, 20, 25, 30, uh, men, women, uh, completely in jackets with shields and helmets and guns and they were behind cars. It was, I mean, something I never would expect to see on my front lawn. Um, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe in China or Venezuela. Uh, Peter Breen is your attorney um, and we're happy that you're here, Mr. Breen. T is this, have you ever seen anything like this ever in this country? Not at all. Uh, this is reckless and outrageous. It put the Hauk family in unnecessary danger. Uh, and it was the sort of thing that uh, when we, we've offered to bring him in, uh, didn't get a response. And, and not just, even if you're going to arrest a regular person, you just send a couple agents, they'd knock on the door. Uh, not dragging the head of the family out, violating the sanctity of the home, pointing guns at them. This was outrageous and uncalled for. Uh, uh, w were we right in saying that local authorities had assessed the altercation between Mr. Houck and the extremist who attacked his son and decided not to press charges against anyone? Is that correct? The Philadelphia DA refused to press charges, and he's not a friend of pro-life. He's a Soros uh, ally. Uh, then the, the alleged victim filed a private criminal complaint, which eventually the local courts threw out because the guy couldn't be bothered to, to show up for the hearings. So the local court system, which is where, if there were a crime committed on that sidewalk, would have dealt with it, they said no. And so that is where this matter should have ended. This was not a federal crime. Uh, we have controlling case law on that, strong defenses. But instead, they've taken an innocent man and made an example out of him, presumably to send a message to pro-life people and people of faith across this country. It's a terrifying attack on civil liberties and on human rights. And I'm just going to point blank ask, if, our, if viewers are interested in learning more or helping the Hauk family through this, is there, is there some place they can go for details? Well, we've set up a site, Defend Life Today, defendlifetoday.com. Uh, we uh, we've got our whole Thomas More legal team on this because we, if we can push back against the Department of Justice here, we can get them to stop, not do this again to someone else. We've also hired the best criminal defense attorney in Philadelphia, one of the best in the country, to help us with this matter. And uh, you know, that's, that, that costs money, but we are going to make the commitment that we are going to, to take this all the way to succeed and hopefully prevail in the end, which we are confident of. It's so horrifying that I really have to hope people are punished for real for this. And finally, Mrs. Mrs. Houck, how are your children doing, I have to ask? Uh, you know, it's it's hard to tell. The older ones, you, we can talk, we can cry. Um, we've, you know, we've had some counseling. Uh, we have more counseling to do. Um, and the little ones, uh, they're scared. They're scared. There's a lot of crying and a lot of um, a lot of unrestful sleep. Uh, a lot of kids in our bed at night and in the morning. Well, I hope every one of those agents who showed up at your home with automatic weapons is watching this and feeling deep shame. I really do. Uh, Ryan Marie Hauk and Peter Breen, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. As we talk